Hello gentlemen and gentle ladies, my name is Sir Stanger and today we're going to talk about how Overwatch quite possibly saved TF2 from the brink of destruction. Now I know this isn't the most popular opinion to have, in fact most people seem to think that Overwatch is going to straight up destroy Team Fortress 2 and uh, be the cause of its death, but uh, we're going to take a step back and look at this a little bit more objectively, see if we can see what's actually going on. Now a big theme with today's video is going to be Monopoly. Now Google defines Monopoly as the exclusive possession or control of a supply or trade in a commodity or service, or or the board game. There's, al there's also the board game Monopoly, but that's not what we're talking about today. No, today we're going to be talking about how Overwatch is Team Fortress 2's first real competition in the realm of class-based shooters, and how that's actually a really good thing. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and establish some facts. By the release of Overwatch, Team Fortress 2 did in fact have a decline in players. Less people were playing the game than possibly ever before. But only shortly after that, more and more people actually started playing Team Fortress 2, and the number has gone up significantly since that time. Now, while Overwatch hasn't been out for all that long, and we haven't been able to see its effects on Team Fortress 2 for an extended period of time, it's kind of difficult for us to accurately gauge what it's going to be looking like in the future. But I think these statistics here are going to give us a pretty good idea of what the future of TF2 looks like. Now, if you spend even half as much of your time on YouTube as I do, get a life loser. then you've probably noticed that Team Fortress 2 is getting its name tossed around quite a bit lately ever since Overwatch was released. And I'm not talking about the usual suspects like Team Fortress 2 YouTubers, I'm talking about people who have obviously, obviously never played Team Fortress 2 before. Now, this has made some people upset, and, you know, it's somewhat understandable. I understand why some people would be a little angry about some people talking about a game that they don't really have much of an understanding of. But whether or not all this attention has really made you angry, or frustrated you, or made you think that Team Fortress 2 is dying, it's done one crucial and absolutely essential thing. It's put Team Fortress 2 back into the limelight. All of this talk of Overwatch versus Team Fortress 2, and is Team Fortress 2 gonna die to Overwatch, has made it come back in popular culture. It's now a highly searched topic and something that people are talking about. And I know that comparing Overwatch to Team Fortress 2 is like trying to compare apples to oranges. They're just two different things and they have a few similarities but not that much. They, they're both first person shooters, they have a couple similar functioning classes, and that's where the comparison should end. But people are comparing these two games anyway, and you know what? We should be grateful. People are actually asking the question if a game that's nearly 10 years old is going to be able to stand up against a game that's literally coming out, possibly the most hyped game of 2016. It's only been out for a short period of time and people are wondering if it's going to be able to topple Team Fortress 2. Now this comparison is not only a compliment to Team Fortress 2, but it's bringing Team Fortress 2 back into the spotlight and making a lot of people a little bit more interested in this game that some of them have never even heard of before. And as Phineas T. Barnum once said, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Thanks to Overwatch, Team Fortress 2 is now a hot topic on YouTube again, and you almost can't hear the word Overwatch without Team Fortress 2 being tossed in somewhere behind it. Now let's take a quick step back and uh, go look at Monopoly again one more time. As we said before, Monopoly is the exclusive possession or control of a supply or trade in a commodity or service. Now while Valve didn't necessarily come up with the class-based shooter, they certainly took it and refined it down to a point that made it a little bit more popular than it had ever been before, and a lot of people consider Team Fortress 2 to be the granddaddy of class-based shooters because of it. Now obviously the original Team Fortress took this idea and used it first, but Team Fortress 2 was really the first game to come out as a class-based shooter by Valve that was just absolutely brilliant. So it could be argued that Valve had a quote-unquote monopoly on the class-based shooter in all of video games, because as many video games as there were out, there were not all that many class-based shooters out up until just recently. And it was definitely the most notable class-based shooter available up until Overwatch came out. Now with that in mind, let's go ahead and talk about why a monopoly over a certain type of video game is a very, very bad thing. If you're a game developer and you have a very popular game out that has little to no direct competition, it doesn't inspire you very much to go out and try and improve your game very much, since it doesn't have to be any better to be the best of its kind. 
I'm sure there are lots of people who would say Valve is very guilty of this, since they seem to have left Team Fortress 2 pretty much alone for the past several years. I mean, when it first came out, it was getting lots of updates, there was plentiful content all over the place, but as of recent years, it just hasn't been there. Valve just doesn't seem to be paying anywhere near as much attention as they used to. And that's one of the big reasons why Monopoly is such a horrible thing in gaming, because it can really lead to some lackluster games that don't really get a lot of attention from their developers. Now let's throw Overwatch into the mix. Valve now has a game that Team Fortress 2 is directly being compared with, and it's not just any game, it's a game by Blizzard, it's their newest IP in a long time. And whether or not you like Overwatch or play it yourself, you can't deny that it's causing an awful lot of hype right now. Valve may not be able to count to three, but they're not stupid. They can see that Team Fortress 2 now has something that's being directly compared to, and it has some actual competition now. Valve's monopoly over the class-based shooter has officially ended, and this is a very, very good thing. When a monopoly is ended and two companies are forced to compete with similar products, they're each forced to try and make their product more appealing to the consumer. That means, yes, Valve is going to have to try and stay ahead of the competition and make their game more appealing to play than Overwatch if they don't want to lose their entire audience. And trust me, they don't. Have you seen the price of Unusuals lately? They're making bank off of Team Fortress 2 right now. I wonder how much for a nuts and bolts head case. Oh my god! So Valve is really gonna need to step up their game if they want Team Fortress 2 to stay relevant in this day and age. And we're already starting to see Valve's answer to this problem. The Meet Your Match update, while not perfect, was Valve's first attempt to try and get our attention back from Overwatch. Ever since it was released, at least I have been getting the feeling that the Team Fortress 2 team has been trying a little bit harder than usual to try and get on our good side. And right now, to be frank, it's not enough. They're not doing enough to try and hold our attention, and I'll admit that. But, it's a start, and it's a step in the right direction. If you've been following Valve's actions as closely as I have, then you've probably noticed that they're making a lot of updates to Team Fortress 2, be it small bug fixes and much larger things as well. And if you haven't been keeping up to date, I implore you to go take a look at the update log. It's full of all kinds of things that show that Valve is at least putting a little bit more effort into Team Fortress 2 than they used to. And it's because they recognize that Team Fortress 2 is getting a lot more publicity lately. Its name is being tossed around all over the internet, and Overwatch is being called a TF2 clone. Overwatch obviously isn't to Team Fortress 2 clone, but it does take some inspiration from the game here and there. And it's these similarities that are getting Team Fortress 2 all of the attention. And with its newfound focus on Team Fortress 2, I would expect Valve to be a little bit more open-minded when it comes to listening to the community and making changes to Team Fortress 2 based off of the community's needs. Because I'm expecting to see a lot of new players in Team Fortress 2 very soon. Why is that, you ask? Well, Team Fortress 2 is a free-to-play game, and Overwatch costs about $60 on consoles, and around $40 if you're playing on PC. Anyone who can't or won't pay the asking price but still has the desire to play a class-based shooter is going to shift their focus to Team Fortress 2. It's the best option out there. I think Valve can see this, and they're anticipating a new wave of players as well, which is why they're trying to update the game as much as possible to make it as appealing to new players and old players as possible. This is why they tried to quickly implement a competitive mode, because it's one of the main things that Team Fortress 2 didn't have that Overwatch was going to get. And even though it was relatively poorly implemented, competitive gaming is very in right now, and any game that's not competitive is pretty much just not played as much. And that's why if you check out the Team Fortress 2 website, the home page is just covered from head to toe on competitive updates, be it from Valve directly or based on the community. Valve is trying to market Team Fortress 2 as a competitive game, which they've never done before. Also, if you pay close attention, you can actually see some very new players playing the game recently. I've noticed a ton of people who have no idea what they're doing playing in casual mode, and it's just been a lot more frequent than usual. And I'm talking more than just your average gibbous sniper player spy on your team. I'm talking about some really, really bad players. And I think it's because they just recently found out about Team Fortress 2 through all this Overwatch hype, and they're genuinely curious about the game. I think it's very important that we as a community reach out to these new players and make sure that they feel welcome into this community and that they start learning the basics to this game that's obviously one of the greatest games on the planet, which is the only reason I'm sitting here talking about it for 10 damn minutes. I mean, seriously, you guys, I don't get paid for this shit. I just stand here and talk into a microphone about how much I love this game because it's something that I absolutely want to do. I want this game to constantly be growing. I want it to live as long as possible. I want to be here to teach the new generation of players how to play this game, how to play Spy in a very bad way, how to rocket jump, how to do all the dumb things that this game has to offer. I'm totally stoked that I'm going to have the opportunity to teach people who have never heard of this game why this game is one of the best games 
to ever be made on this damn planet, and I mean that. No game has a following quite like the Team Fortress 2 community, and sure, there are tons of games out there that have lots of fans and lots of people making content and artwork and videos about it, but none of them are quite as close-knit and friendly as the Team Fortress 2 community. And now that more and more people are learning about this game, and the fact that it can be compared to the newest and most hyped game of 2016, I think a lot of people are going to get dragged into this community and are going to be a long-standing part of this game for many, many years. And you know what? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe you think I'm just some crazy guy trying to talk for a 10 year old game as though it's ever going to be able to beat a new Blizzard IP like Overwatch. But I don't think Team Fortress 2 can beat Overwatch, and I don't think Overwatch can beat Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2 laid the groundwork for the first person class based shooter, and Overwatch has clearly taken from that. And Overwatch's hype and Blizzard's power has really brought a lot of attention back to Team Fortress 2, and I think these games are currently living off of each other, and it's an awesome symbiotic relationship that should continue as long as possible. I don't know about you, but I'm extremely optimistic about the future of Team Fortress 2, and I think you should be too. Get out there on those forums, get out there on those live streams, start making YouTube videos, tell Valve what they need to do to fix this game, because I think for the first time in years, they're going to be trying to listen to you. Man, what a rant. I'm sorry about that, guys. That was quite a tangent. Look, if you want some evidence that Team Fortress 2 is going to get at least a few new players based off the Overwatch hype, I can say that I personally wasn't playing Team Fortress 2 that frequently until Overwatch was announced. When that cinematic trailer dropped, oof, boy, the hype train could not have been more real for me. But the game wasn't out yet, what's a guy to do? Well, I turned to the only first person shooter class based game that I knew of and that was Team Fortress 2. And now that Overwatch is out, I still play more Team Fortress 2 than I do Overwatch. So there you have it, I'm living breathing proof that Overwatch is bringing at least a little bit more attention to Team Fortress 2, and I don't think that I'm going to be the only one. But it doesn't matter what I think, I'm just a random guy on the internet. What do you guys think? Please, let me know down in the comment section. Do you think Overwatch is bringing some attention back to Team Fortress 2? Do you think Team Fortress 2 could possibly stand up to the titan that is Overwatch? I am legitimately curious to know your guys' thoughts on this particular topic. Maybe Overwatch brought your attention to Team Fortress 2. Is that so? I want to hear about it. Let me know the story down in the comments section. I'm going to read every last one of the comments on this video because I'm very excited to know your guys' opinion. And with that, let's keep the internet classy. I'll see you then.